Good evening, my name is Lisa Guerrero and today is June 20th, 2018. Today I'm working on the lab for antibiotic sensitivity, the Kirby Bauer diffusion test. So this is exercise number one. Um, I just finished uh, pouring my agar plate um, about an hour ago. So it's already been set. So this is the large agar plate, so it's already there. Um, I've already went ahead and uh, drew uh, on the bottom of the agar plate. So we have the penicillin, we have the uh, noble biosin, and then gentomycin. So we are separating these because once we um, add the... Uh, S. epidermidis um, broth to the uh, petri dish. We're gonna use the antibiotics uh, to see what happens when we add the bacteria along with the antibiotic. So um, I've already put here my tweezers, my um, pipette into the alcohol. They've been sitting there for a few minutes. So, I'm going to go ahead and I have my candle lit here. I don't know if you can see it. It's already on. Okay, so, I'm going to, this is the S. epidermidis broth. And we're going to flame it to make sure there's no bacteria that's going to be um, introduced into our um, specimen. We'll take all the alcohol off of the pipette and then we need to get a 0 0.5 ml of the broth. So okay. So here's this and then we're gonna do eight drops of the broth to the center of the agar plate. So, we're gonna grab this, we're gonna add eight drops. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And then we're gonna flame this up again. And we will seal it. And then I'm gonna turn this off. And we're gonna do get the L-shaped spreader, which would be this thing here. And we will not touch the bottom part because it is sterile we can only touch the top and then we will go spread the broth evenly so that the entire plate is coated with an even even layer of broth so we will do that right now And then, after that, we're gonna place the lid on the plate. We're gonna uh, we're gonna leave this with the lid side up for approximately one to two hours until it's absorbed, until the liquid's absorbed. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and utilize these tweezers. Um, to put the uh, disc of the penicillin um, and also of the other two antibiotic discs in their respective areas, so in their own section. After that, we're going to um, leave it like that for 10 minutes 
and then after those 10 minutes we're gonna flip it have the agar facing up and then um, we'll leave that for 12 hours we'll see what happens after the 12 hours if we don't see growth then we're gonna go ahead and incubate for another 12 hours and I will go ahead and upload one more video after this to let you guys know what it is that we found out. Thank you.